So bottom line, uh, I think, you know, obviously it's a different world. It's not the Cold War uh, world where uh, Europe and, and the U.S. Were, were so close, but it's a world in which Europe remains critical uh, to the U.S. in general and uh, to Obama specifically. And for me, what symbolizes this is, is uh, uh, a couple of months back uh, in May, uh, the back-to-back G8 and NATO summit. I mean, it was the transatlantic world uh, uh, reaffirmed, right? It was uh, all about the Camp David summit and and the the, the, the summit, the uh, NATO summit in Chicago. And who remembers about the G20 in Los Cabos the, the next month? Very few people, simply because that G20 world has not really uh, kicked in, I would say. And, uh, and the role of the G8 has been reaffirmed, including by uh, Michael Froman uh, 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 here. And so... Let me just give you, and then I'll, I'll leave the floor to, to Andy and the others, uh, a quick overview of, of why I think Europe will remain really relevant to Obama personally, uh, because Europe matters where, uh, where he has some, uh, some stakes. Um, uh, I, I think that on the Middle East, uh, Europe is pretty much a condition of the U.S. pivot to Asia, right? What I mean by that is... Uh, uh, if, if Obama's grand idea is really the pivot to Asia-Pacific, then it's a pivot away, not from Europe, but a pivot away from the Middle East, right? And how can you still take care of the Middle East without, uh, uh, without investing too much, but without uh, abandoning it? Well, by having your allies uh, step up there, whether in terms of, uh, of aid or uh, of, uh, of security. Um, Obama's grand idea, um, uh, uh, you know, global zero, non-proliferation, uh, that will also be a critical thing, I think, in the second mandate. That is to say, uh, the objective of, of negotiating a second agreement with Russia and, uh, and having, of course, uh, Europeans uh, along, if only on, on, on the uh, thorny question of, of missile defense, in order to make good on his, on his commitment. 